Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to draw slash how I draw my cars with markers and pencils. So as you can see on the thumbnail, we are going to draw a green Lamborghini. This video is supposed to be a how-to video, a step-by-step -step video. That's why I didn't want to go crazy with lots of different shades and, and markers. So you don't have to spend a fortune on those. What I have is four different greens and a couple of grays and blacks. And also I have green pencils, a light one and a darker uh, shade, white pencil, a mechanical or clutch pencil for the outlines, some fine liners and the white gel pen. I almost forgot to mention some rulers and some French curves. So this is what I always use to make the outlines. So the ruler for the straight lines and also this is for, uh, these are for the, uh, the curves and the wheels and basically everything else on the car. Well, paper wise, I'm going to use a 250 gram paper uh, in size A3. So the plan is to keep it simple. So the first thing we're gonna learn how to do is the outlines. Now I will show you two different methods of drawing an outline. First is the grid. You can go online and Google drawing grid and you will see a few websites where you can upload your photo and make your own grid by choosing the right size and color. After you have downloaded the photo, you can draw your own grid on your paper by using the clutch pencil. Just make sure you don't push it too hard because you will need to delete them later with the rubber. So when you are happy with your grid, you can start drawing the outlines square by square. Feel free to use rulers and French curves. The second option is to trace it. This is the easiest way to get the best result. You can use your monitor or TV that you can connect to your computer. Just make sure your room is dark enough for you to see through the paper. Use masking tape to prevent the paper from moving. So this is my outline. When you do yours, make sure you draw everything you see. This is the original photo I used. Now you can take a screenshot of both if you want. Okay, here we go. Let's start with the rear bumper. I use fine liner to make the outlines permanent. I used ice grey one and two for the exhaust and black for the bumper. You can see the shadow and the rear is not black. I used ice gray 5 and 7 for the darker area. You can blend the black and the dark gray together with the black pencil.
do the tire you can just use ice gray 7 all the way or you can make it a bit lighter as it's on the original photo I used ice gray 1, 2, 5 and 7 as well The wheel arch and the shadow underneath the car is black. To highlight the tire I use the white pencil gently and the white pen. the rear bumper with ice grey 2, 5 and 7. Next step is to do exactly the same on the front tire. You can also finish the rest of the shadow with the black marker. When you do the wheel, make sure you take your time and pay attention to the details. For the brake disc, I've used Ice Gray 7. And for the brake caliper, I've used ice gray 1 and 2 and on the wheel spokes as well. Just remember to use number 1 on the lighter parts and number 2 on the darker bits.
When the ink dried out properly, draw the small details on the wheel with white pencil and pen. do exactly the same. The next step is the front grille. It's very easy, just use fine liner for the outline and fill it with the black marker and let it dry. While it's drying, start drawing the headlight and use ice grey 1, 2 and 5 and of course black. Let it dry before you use the white pen in the end. On the grill use white pencil gently. Ok, let's jump onto the taillight and do the same as you did on the front grille. Back window slash vent I started with the ice grey 7 and then I draw the black bits with the fine liner and the black marker. Once it's dry, draw the white lines with the pencil and the white pen. Windscreen can be a bit difficult for some of you. You can just go full black, just make sure you draw the wipers later on it. Or you can do exactly what I did, starting with the ice gray 7 and 5 or the dash and use black for the top half. Leave the side mirror blank for now, we'll do that later. white pencil and pen to make it more shiny and realistic. For the side window I used exactly the same markers, 
you can use black pencil to blend the grey parts together. Ok, the next step is colouring the body. I use the metal green for the lighter parts, leaf green for pretty much everything else, the darkest green is called grass. You can always use two layers if you think it's not dark enough for you, just make sure you don't get the paper too wet, because it can be messy and your drawing will be ruined.
For the panel at the rear I used some Ice Gray 7 and the black pencil as well. For this part I used a bit of lime zest color. I only use it 3 times so if you don't have this color or you don't want to buy it you can skip this and just use meadow green instead. Unfortunately my leaf green marker was running out, in this case you have to draw slowly and make sure you do several layers and it will be nice and smooth. I've used the clutch pencil and the dark green pencil. Make sure you it's sharp enough to make a nice line. The next step is the mirrors. Use all the greens for the left mirror and use eyes gray 5 and 7 and black pencil for the shadows. Thank you. 
the front of the car, I started with meadow green and finished the darker parts with deep green. For the panel gaps, you can use fine liner or black pencil and make it shiny with the white pen. Lamborghini is finished. So that's it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, just please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. So as you can see, this channel is very, very small. If you would like to help, you can do that by clicking on the PayPal link down below. Thank you very much for your time. See you guys in the next one. Bye.